Hey guys, how's it going? Killshot here, bringing your video, and in this video, I'll be I'll be showing you guys how to script something in Halo 5 Guardians Forge. So um, let's just start off with a simple door here. Now I found a door, I man. It's just got like a huge, you know, glass piece here. But um, you know, as you can see it in the terminal, when I hold down X, it you know it moves up and it stays there. You know, it doesn't move. If I come up here. You know, it has like, you know, this little transformation line right here. You know, that's just where it went, and you know, that's that. This is what, I that is, um, what I'll explain after this, uh, which is rotations. So, um, they could just hold down that again, um, or it could do that too. Yeah, if you do it in, in the middle, it can do that. Or it can do that. They could go all the way down, yeah. So um, this is basically just you know how to make that door here. So into forge mode, um, when you go to the object, uh, you want to go in the object properties, and all you want to do is you're going to say add a script, and then you're going to want the um, condition on on interaction because you're going to go up to it and you're going to hold down X, right? That's just like I get to hear that, um, and then the action is power set because that you know kind of activates the. Know, power for the glass, you know, paint kind of thing. Um, then it's alpha. Um, that's alpha because if you have like multiple scripts, you want to have like, you know, if this is set for alpha and you have like five glass panes, you know, then you know if you have like five terminals, five glass, whatever, you know, you might want to have like, okay, each one is like Bravo, uh, like one is Bravo, one's Delta, one's Charlie, you know, kind of thing. Um, so that's why you know it's set to alpha. Um, and then toggle, which is just, it's not, you know, always on or always off, you just have to go up to it, say on interaction, when you hold down X, okay, that's, you know, that's on, hold down X, then it's, you know, to reverse it, whatever sets that. Um, and then here's the glass piece right here, so here you, you will need um, two scripts here, actually no, wait, no, three, yeah, three. Uh, so three scripts, and in the first script you're going to see, when, when it receives the message from the channel alpha, it's going to um, set its, you know, action kind of thing to the state on, right? Right. So, yeah, so it receives the message from the terminal and it sets itself like on in a way, right? So um, now it's like, okay, now what if it is on, you know, from the alpha, you know, kind of terminal thing, then it's going to move vertically up 25, um, like, inches or feet or whatever it's called yeah so 25 you know units let's say um and then you know in the time of this is seconds by the way so in two seconds it will move 25 um units you know up or whatever so that's that and then you know we'll have a look moving on to uh, if you want to whatever so and then at script three is if it is off just if, if it's just if it's done it's you know job going up and it you know then it's off then it is going to move down when on interaction with the, um, you know, with the terminal, is going to move back down 25 units t in two seconds, um, back down to its original state. So, um, you guys can, you know, pause the video here. You know, script three, this is script two, this is script one. You know, and then you can just change up, uh, you know, all the other, you know, settings here. So, you know, all in general, if you go over to the terminal here, you pull down X. Voila, you have your door here. If you're playing with your friends, I mean, they can stay, like, right here. I think it'll, I think it'll crush them, though. You know, and so it'll come right, right back down, stay exactly where it is. Uh, I don't know if it does crush you, does it? Hold on. Oh, wait. Maybe not. Not quite sure. Um, I'm gonna just delete this here. I'm not quite sure, does it? <laughs> does it crush you? Hold on. You gotta, like, have, like, timing, right? Okay, hold on, I create right here, and go. Whoa, okay, no, it just kind of like pushes you over to the side here. Um, so now, you know, that's, that's just a simple door. It's very simple once you, you know, once you get the hang, you know, the hang of it. Um, very simple. So this is the uh, asteroid here, and it's kind of, you know, rotating at a 180 degree angle, uh, you know, every like tenth of a second, right? So. Um, in its object properties, um, you can, um, yeah, so there's just only one script, so it's on the timer, which is just real time kind of thing, is what I'm saying. Um, initial delay, the, the initial delay is kind of just like, okay, at first, 
how many seconds does it need to take for it to actually start? So if you say if you say this to you know one, it's gonna you know pause, and then you know it's gonna you know see like yeah like that right. So it's gonna pause for about a second or so, and then it'll keep on doing it. But we're gonna say it's zero. Repeat timer to point ten. Um, I think if you actually just have that to zero, it might just kind of work. But it, again, it's sometimes a little bit glitchy. And then you're gonna set it to action, um, rotate offset, and they're gonna go here to pitch 180 degrees. So, um, so if it is, so it, can, it can't go more. You know, it can go 180 degrees, whatever. So it can't go like 360 degrees, like fully, right? So yeah, it has to go, you know, just 180 degrees. Stop for, you know, stop for point, you know, one second, whatever. So. Yeah, and then the time, light bake, and all that kind of stuff. So we set that to that. Then you know, it's actually stopped. Hold on a second. What? Repeat timer. Is that it? And there you go. Yeah. So this is the yeah. This is the delay here. I don't know. Yeah. So yeah, this is the delay. Yeah. So this is how much it has to wait until it repeats it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, yeah. So repeat that timer. Um, and then. This is yeah. So you guys want to yeah. So also the yaw. I think that I think like the yaw is just how like w like which way it's pointing. You know, on like each you know like the forward axis kind of thing. Like you know which way is it pointing. The roll is like the opposite direction of this. So it's kind of like left and a right roll. Um, here it's like forward and backward roll. Um, here it's going like a little bit forward. So um, it's not too complicated. You just have to you know get like the hang of it. Um, you know, but it is sometimes glitchy, you know, if you have like a lot of stuff um, or whatever. But other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if this helped you, you know, if this helps you with, you know, scripting and everything. Um, let me know if you guys want, you know, some more tutorials on, you know, how to make, you know, other doors or, you know, falling objects or something like that. You know, it'd be really fun and cool to do, um, you know, with scripting. It's not that hard. You just have to, you know, get the hang of it and everything. So, so anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Really hope this, um, for, you know, really hope this helped you guys do that. Um, and uh, yeah, so subscribe for more content. Leave a comment down below, and you know what you think, or if you have any questions or anything like that. Um, subscribe for more content. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.